Okay, March 20, 31, 3, 2, 0, 1, 5. This kitten was found, where, where was she found? In the car park. Car park, is it? Yeah. And uh, it appeared to be paralyzed in the sense that she cannot stand on at least this leg, the right leg. Okay, so I will check whether she's been injured in her spine or not. So I'll do the operation. There's some pain here, yeah. So there's a pain here. Let me start again. Start in the neck. Okay. This cervical is okay. Start here, the pain is here. So somebody must have hit her. So that explains why the cat is uh, paralyzed. So somebody must have hit her on the car or the bike. Okay, so now I do the check on the on the on the pain. Any reaction, any sensation or not this numb. The pinch reflex. So I use uh forceps. Normally it's painful, they will withdraw the leg. Not much sensation. Let me clamp. Huh? Little, no, no pain. Does not feel the pain. Okay, now I use the needle. Check. There's no reaction. To here, yeah, that is a turn over, turn this side, the other leg. Okay. Right to here, yeah. So this part is uh, paralyzed. Then uh, compared to the front. And they should be in. There's some reaction, but not good. So, in fact, the injury is further up. That's why the four legs are not, not uh, good. But the worst is the two hind legs. But could it, could it be due to prolonged life with no food? No food, they still can feel the pain. No? They're like, this is a ner nervous uh, nerve injury. Uh. If, it's, if it's the due to uh, starvation or what, they can still feel the pain. Uh. Even the front one is also not, not much less pain. Only the right four, maybe a bit. So, that's how I discovered the injury was more to the, the neck area. Check again. Check again. This is a cervical. Right here, so it's quite, quite front. Uh. So the whole, the it's quite forward. So that's why the front leg is not so still able to move, but the back leg is, is uh, paralyzed. So that's the situation. Uh.